Music on Golf today, PGA Tour University, presented by Velocity Global, is giving the college game's best seniors a chance to compete on the PGA Tour. Now, following the conclusion of the NCAA Championship, the top 20 players in the PGA Tour University rankings presented by Velocity Global will be granted playing privileges across multiple PGA Tour platforms, including the top five securing full status on the Corn Ferry Tour, one through 10. I to see some names that are, are very familiar. Sam Bennett, Texas A&M, William Mao, Pepperdine. Important to, to mention Mr. Mao. Here's 11 through 20. You see uh, William's teammate, Sam Choi there. Number 20, a little Stanford love for Barclay Brown at number 17. Now, speaking of William Mao, hometown Chino, California, senior at Pepperdine, and already really a decorated career, a Walker Cup, and competed in the U.S. Open, and then you see eighth on that PGA Tour University Velocity Global Rankings. And he joins us now, William. It's good to spend some time with you. For someone who's accomplished so much already, you know, winning a natty, Walker Cup, competing in a U.S. Open, how nice is it having something like the PGA Tour University to kind of keep you sharp and hungry during your senior year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the PGA Tour uh, made a great decision with allowing um, college golfers to have a goal um, to work towards, keeping guys in college, um, allowing them to see that their status available, job security. It's pretty cool that they implemented um, a system like this that us college golfers can stay motivated when we're practicing um, to eventually get to our, our goal. William, earlier this summer, you shot 12 under par at an Olympic club in San Francisco in a U.S. Open qualifier, made your way into the field at the country club in Brookline for the U.S. Open. What did you take away from, in terms of confidence, and what was the coolest moment of actually competing in that major championship? Yeah, it was, it was special, honestly. Just being able to execute your game plan at the highest level, being able to qualify for uh, the nation's most elite tournament, the U.S. Open, and getting to play out at uh, Brookline was just a dream come true. Such an honor, so blessed to be able to have that opportunity and to go out there and play with the best golfers around the world is what, you know, it's what I practice for every day. And um, it was just a moment that uh, will cherish forever and hopefully do it again. Well, you played a Walker Cup at a pretty cool spot, the Seminole. It's hosting the Jackson T. Stevens Cup this week. We just spoke to Rich Lerner, and UNC's David Ford shot 62. How good is that score around that golf course? That's a phenomenal score. Um, it's pretty funny. David and I have been playing a lot in our last tournaments. I think every tournament of my last five tournaments, I've been paired with David. So we're good friends. We're good buddies, and... 62 out there, including eight birdies in a row, is just really, really good. Um, I know Seminole has some tabletop greens. Um, if you can hit it to the middle of the green and start making putts and um, feel like you're attacking the course, you can go pretty low there. And it was, it was pretty cool to see David go pretty low there. William, you, you will have seen at the weekend that Eugenio Chikara made quite a lot of money on the live event out in Bangkok. And he said afterwards a part of his reason for jumping to live was that he thought the PGA Tour University system didn't offer players enough. Now, we've had guys like Chris Gutterup and Pearson Coody on the show who've argued the opposite, that it does, and all, all they want is the opportunity to earn their way onto the PGA Tour. I'm curious where you fall on that issue. Do you think what is on offer through the PGA Tour University is enough for college seniors like you, or should there be more? Should it be a direct pathway onto the tour? Yeah, I think it just depends on kind of where you, where your uh, viewpoint is on it. Um, I can see where guys say that it's not enough. Um, and then I could see guys where if you do play well and um, you're at the top of the PGA Tour University, it does allow you to have a pretty direct path um, to the PGA Tour. And I think the PGA Tour is doing a great job and the best that they can do um, to create college golfers to have job status, have job security, and eventually make their way out on tour. And um, I think they're doing a great job. And it's going to be cool to see what, what kind of different uh, things they apply in the next couple of years uh, um, for college golfers. But it's cool. 
William, I've been impressed with the quality of your golf, the, the incredible golf courses that you've played and the experiences that you've had. And then there's this photo floating around of you and Tiger Woods. What do you remember about this day? Yeah, that, that was special. That was out at uh, Liberty National for the Junior President's Cup. And, you know, we just came off of victory, um, the inaugural Junior President's Cup. We, 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 uh, we won, and then we got, all, we got to head out to Liberty National to watch the actual President's Cup and meeting guys like Tiger, Fred Couples, Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth, Brooks Koepka. Um, and just having general conversations with them, it was pretty special to see, like, you know, our team – dynamic and their team dynamic was not that uh much much different it was just pretty cool to to see and chat with the guys before they went out and um kick some butt out there what does your short and midterm pathway look like now career-wise william if we're sitting here 18 months from now what do you see as the ideal pathway to that point for you from here yeah i think i think the pga tour u is has been a great system where it allows um, college golfers like me to uh, work work on your game, have a game plan, set goals, top five in PGA Tour U, um, being able to play in Corn Ferry Tour events, earn money, um, earn um, points to eventually make it to the uh, Corn Ferry Tour finals and somehow get your card and make your way to the tour. So in 18 months, I think, you know, just keep doing what I'm doing, sticking to my process and really enjoying the, you know, just being able to play the game of golf. Um, we're pretty lucky to do that. Part of your process, from what I understand, is that you can juggle even eggs. I usually juggle golf balls. How did you learn how to <laughs> juggle? Yeah, you know, just um, being bored in school, just um, got a couple of golf balls together in my um, backpack and just started uh, YouTube the video of how to juggle and kind of picked it up pretty fast. Within 30 minutes, I was able to kind of learn how to juggle. So I was self-taught within 30 minutes, and then you kind of learn different tricks um, um, along the way. And it, it's fun. It's if you're waiting on a tee box and the group is slow, you just kind of throw a couple balls up there and keep your arms loose, keep it loose, have some laughs. And it's just a way to have fun out there and keep it light. I enjoy it. He can juggle, he can drive, and he can putt. And he is William Mao. Buddy, congratulations on your accomplishments. Enjoy that senior season. Let's talk again soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the call. With three of the biggest names in the game are making their season debuts this week at the Zozo Championship. Zan